Hello, welcome to this Introduction to Competency-Based Education, or CBE, for students. CBE is a slightly different educational model than you are probably used to. This video will explain what CBE is and how you can be successful in your CBE courses at Nashville State Community College. First, you may be wondering, what is CBE? As the name suggests, competency-based education is all about learning competencies or real-world skills and abilities that you would be able to use in a job setting. CBE is all about doing, more so than just knowing information. You can expect to do many hands-on projects that will closely mimic tasks that you might perform in a job setting. Additionally, CBE courses are self-paced. This means that you can spend as much or as little time as you need to complete the requirements of the course. How much time you spend on your assignments is not important. What is important is that you show your instructor that you are able to demonstrate competency in an area by successfully completing your assignments. In other courses, you might be expected to absorb material from a book or lecture, then mostly repeat that material on an exam or in an essay. By contrast, in CBE, you will be graded based on your ability to do and perform certain real-world tasks. For example, if one of your course's competencies was design a brand logo in Adobe Photoshop, you will do just that. For your assignment, you will pass by successfully designing a brand logo in Adobe Photoshop. When it comes to grades, CPE courses are basically pass or fail. There are only three possible grades, A, B, or F. You cannot pass with a C or D. This is because your instructor will be grading you not on how many points you got on a test, but on whether you have attained a competency, basically whether you are able to perform a task or not. For CBE, an A means that you are highly developed or have shown evidence of advanced competency. A B is passing. It means that you have developed the competency at the level required. An F simply means that you will need to keep working until you are able to complete the task assigned. With that said, if you do get an F, don't give up. You can always revise and resubmit as many times as you need. The goal is for you to improve and learn from each attempt until you are successful. And because CBE courses are self-paced, you can take as long as you need. The only deadline that you need to keep in mind is the end of the semester. All assignments are due by the end of classes, just as in any other course. Don't wait until the last minute to complete your work, though. Self-paced means that it is up to you to be disciplined and work consistently each week. If you wait until the last minute, you won't have a chance to revise and resubmit your work and more than likely will not pass. So how can you be successful in a CBE course? There are three steps to success. First, make sure that you communicate with your instructor. Self-paced does not mean you have to do it all on your own. Your instructor is there to help you and they want you to succeed. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to send them an email or request a Zoom call. Especially when you start working on your major projects, it will be very useful to you to have their input. Second, make sure that you participate regularly in the course. You should log in at least once a week. Treat it like a part-time job. Make sure that you set aside between six and nine hours each week to work on your projects. Finally, and most importantly, do not procrastinate. Each assignment will be complex, multi-staged, and probably require multiple revisions. If you wait until the end of the semester, you are unlikely to succeed. Need help along the way? Email your instructor. They are a resource for you, and their goal is to help you succeed. 